everyone, I'm super excited about this week's table runner and I have a really fun trick that makes it quick and easy. So this table runner is called Pinwheel Charms and it is so simple to make. First, you're gonna grab a charm pack. I'm using Flower Press by Katherine Watson for Moda. It's just these beautiful modern florals. I really, really love it. Then you're going to need a yard and a quarter of background fabric. This is the one that I used. I bound it with this beautiful red. You'll need a half yard of that and then a yard and a half for your backing. So let me show you how to make this. First up, we're gonna open up our charm pack and we are gonna pick two that are contrasting. I have a few extra here. So I'm just gonna look through here. Maybe these two together. We just want good contrast. And so we're gonna begin by placing these right sides together. And then on two opposite sides, we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam. So let's go ahead and take this to the machine. Right, we finished this first side so we can flip it around and go down the other side now. There we go. Trim our threads. Okay, so now we can take it to our cutting mat and we are gonna cut this in half. This is a five inch square, so I can use my little two and a half inch ruler and we can just lay this right along here and cut it in half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this to the iron and press these open. Roll these back to the darker fabric. There's one and two if I can get a hold of it, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now that we have these pressed, we are going to trim it so that they're square because right now it is five by four and a half. We want these to measure four and a half inches square. So I'm just gonna lay this on the mat and I am just gonna trim off a half inch from both of these. There's one and the other. Just like so, perfect. All right, so once we have this completed, we are gonna take four and a half inch background squares and I've gone ahead and drawn a line corner to corner on both of these and we are going to match these up with our strip sets here. And we're gonna sew a quarter inch on both sides of that line. I do wanna go ahead and point out that I have these oriented the exact same way and I just did that for consistency sake and I know if you do it that way, this will work out perfect. So you might wanna do the same thing. So let's go ahead and take this to the machine and we'll stitch on both sides of that line. Okay, we've gone down one side, so now we can flip this around and go down the other. Okay, there we go. Let's bring this back over to our cutting mat. I'm gonna go ahead and clip these threads. And now we can use our ruler and we're going to cut on that line that we drew exactly in between our two seam lines, just like so. And you'll see when we open these up, they're going to be opposites. 
just like so. And so we will have two of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and press these and then we'll square them with the block lock and I'll show you how it comes together. Okay, I have all four of these pressed and you'll notice I have them in two little piles because we end up with matching two of the same and they're opposite of each other. And so now we're gonna square these to four inches. And one thing I tried to pay attention to just because I'm who I am, I always looked on my ruler to see where this little line would end up. And I would say nine times out of 10, it ended up at one and three quarters, but it looks like my seam is a little wider than maybe when I first made this, which happens sometimes when we're teaching, we go a little faster than we usually do. Um, and so this is actually going to end up on, so that is one and seven eighths. So it's the next little notch over. And so let me just check some of these other ones to make sure that that's where it's gonna line up so that I can still get four inches and it does there. So just take your time and you can check this. It does there as well. And it does there as well, perfect. So just eyeball that. At the end of the day, these aren't actually meeting up with one another. So if they're slightly different, nobody's gonna notice. The most important thing is that you square these to four. So let's go ahead and do that. There's that. And we can spin this around and slide it down to four. It's funny, I'm always surprised how one side's gonna be really wonky and the other side's gonna be like just right. But that's why it's important to take the step of squaring. There we go. There's two. We'll go ahead and square these two as well. One more, and you'll see I'm barely just shaving a tiny bit off, but it's worth it to make sure that they all fit together nicely in the end. All right, last one. Beautiful. There we go. All right, so now we are going to take this and we are going to make them pinwheel. And so that happens by putting opposites next to each other, just like so. And so then we can sew this together into a four patch. So we're just gonna put these right sides together and take them to the machine. All right, I've sewed that first one. I always like to stop and check and make sure that this is gonna open up the way I want it to before I sew the next one and it's right. So we're just gonna nest this here in the middle where those seams come together and sew down the side. All right, and now we can open it up. See, it's coming together. We'll place those two halves together and sew down this long side and our block will be done. Always take a few stitches and then we're gonna line up this middle seam so that those will nest. We'll just cruise down. line up the ends. Okay. There we go. Now our block is all done. Let's go ahead and give this a good press so it will lay nice and flat. So pretty.
All right, look at that. It just comes out so cute. I love this block. It looks like you worked so hard to piece this little pinwheel in the middle and you didn't. It's just quick and easy and we love that, right? That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and look at this finished runner and see how the block fits in here because I did add some sashing and cornerstones. So here is our block just like so and you'll notice we have our two and a half by seven and a half inch sashing strips. And so we will start and end every row with a sashing and there are seven blocks in each row, two rows of seven, just like so. And then for the cornerstones from our extra squares, I just cut those in half. So our five inch squares in half both directions to get these two and a half inch squares. And so those just fit in just like so. So it comes together really quick and easy. I absolutely love this project. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to see what you make and I'll see you next time on At Home. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching At Home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.